Finn Hammond and Johnny Fisher. So, buttons on your ice cream cone. The way the several questions work is that basically we found a machine in the woods called the Questionator 5000 that was evidently engineered to generate infinite, very silly question, and Johnny, Finn, and I have dedicated our lives to answering them all one by one by one. Now, we have a very exciting announcement here today. Do you, do you, want, do you guys want to say it all at the same time? Okay, I'll count down. Three, Three two, two, one. one. We're, We're got into the Green, Green Bay, Bay Fringe Bay Festival. Festival. It's like in July. <laughs> we said it, it completely in unison. I'll line those up and post. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. It is a Zoom delay. That it's a delay. Say. Yeah, it's the delay. It's Tom Delay that did it to us. So, by the way, I want the Green Bay Fringe Festival. <laughs> this isn't like a blanket festival or anything. Okay, Don't you know, think it's so. not like a one of those suede jacket festivals or anything like that. Okay, if you think that if you're British and you think this is about a certain kind of hair style, right. It's not it's, that either. It's not that either. This is about how edgy we are. Comedy, edgy comedy. Yeah, we're yeah. fucking edge lords, and we always knew it. Now we did the total counterculture thing. Filled out an application, paid an application fee, mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. and then <laughs> got accepted. You had to uh, wait patiently for that. And yeah. then we were, we were a, yeah, and we politely thanked them, asked a couple follow-up questions, maybe annoyed <laughs> the organizer a little because maybe I asked too many questions. Well, there's a lot of considerations. <laughs> there were, because we stuff. were put in a campaign office of the Democratic Party of Brown County, and the problem we're having, of course, is that we are staunch um, Centrists. Uh, arnica- arnicists. That's what, what I was going to say. Anarchists. Anarchists. See, that's how Anarchists, fucking yeah. anachronistic we are. Anachronistic. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Is that we don't even conform to calling it anarchy. We call it Ann Ramsey. So mm-hmm. we are Ann Ramseyist. And so, no, actually, it's just that we're trying to get into a bookstore that looks nicer. <laughs> so, mm-hmm. Anyway, it sounds like we might be able to, guys. Just mm-hmm. so you know, that's my exciting announcement for today. We, we might be performing inside of a bookstore. Yeah. This is going to change the release date of my book. Oh, really? If that's true. Because then, you don't yeah. Want it to be in there. You don't want it to be in there when we're in there. Do you think it'll be awkward? Or maybe the, maybe this would be a good time for me to like sign autographs. Is this and- a tell-all about us? Mm-hmm. Are, you, is, is, are we mentioned in this book <laughs> Yeah, you guys are in the cover. I'm Ooh. not even in it. Fully nude. Mm-hmm. That would explain so It's us. called The Real Johnny and Nate. Uh-huh. <laughs> the real Johnny and Nate exposed with three mm-hmm. X's. Mm-hmm. Is this part of your one man show? Yeah, and you guys okay. don't get to sign the book. I'll be doing. I don't that differently. No, I don't think you'll like a lot more of what's going on inside the book. Why are there more pictures? You mm-hmm. know, I fucking hate pictures. Yeah, it's a picture book. Oh, yeah. <laughs> is it like a coffee table thing? Yeah, it's like a big coffee table book of your guys' parts, parts of your body, and like, um, you know, not all your favorite parts either. Some mm. of the, your least favorite parts. Okay, let's list our three bottom parts: um, feet, <laughs> left so foot, right feet. foot. Yeah, uh, and bottom, then, and then my butt. bottom. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Okay, here we go. That's let's crazy. go on to a question. I've got a question for you. Yeah. In fact, I've got several. If you had to cry at a movie or be killed, which movie would you choose to watch? Um, and this is at the theater? Yeah, like, let's say you have to watch it in the theater, or you get to watch it in the theater, however you feel about theaters. Well, if I just get to cry at a movie, which, you know, it doesn't not happen sometimes. I just get to see it a movie I want. does not happen sometimes. What a brave admission. <laughs> That's the name of my book also. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it doesn't it does happen. not happen sometimes by Finn Hammond. <clears throat> um, so I would be like, ooh, what would I watch? This just seems like a good opportunity to see a movie I like. But if it's the last movie I ever saw, if that's the other thing that happens. No. Oh, okay. Uh, no, then- this is like, you're t- okay, go ahead. So you're saying if you fail, at least this will be the last movie you ever see. Yes. I'm saying mm-hmm. you'll, I think you'll live if you cry during this movie. So you want to pick a sad one. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> <I see. laughs> 
<laughs> he this just gives hard. up right away. He's like, "No, I'm I'm not a sissy. I won't. I can't cry in any movie. This is I'm my so favorite tough movie. and masculine, so I might as well make it my favorite one, so that when I get killed immediately <laughs> yeah. afterwards, it'll be a good last movie." Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'll pick a tough movie like uh, the pianist. Herbie. <laughs> yeah. Do you? Herbie. Well, the pianist kind of almost sounds pretty masculine. Oh. Oh. All right, yeah, yeah. It's mm-hmm. arguably one of the most masculine names mm-hmm. for a movie. Herbie the Love Bug, JK. Okay, here's Wrong. the problem. Here's the problem. It really, you know, movies hit hard at the first time, especially mm-hmm. for, for crying reasons. Mm-hmm. So you kind of got to pick one that you haven't seen. But are there any old movies that are supposed to be super sad that you haven't seen? I haven't seen Old Yeller. Do you think that uh-huh. would make me cry? Or do you think that? That, like, I don't um, think so. It's I feel old. like maybe it's too dated. Although, do you? I don't know. And do you have a f- strong connection to dogs? Sure, I like I mean, dogs. You fuck them, but I mean, yeah, but I don't care if they live or not. <laughs> oh, <God>. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so. um, that was from your one man show. That was just an excerpt. <laughs> that was just a fictional yeah, yeah. thing. Uh-huh. Uh, <laughs> you're in it. You're in it somehow. <laughs> yeah, you're in. <laughs> um. um you could, uh I guess okay, what's the movie that makes people cry Your that one I have? show is called <laughs> Nate and Johnny Exposed. Also. What's that <laughs> uh that uh Groundhog's Day movie with Tom Cruise? Uh mm-hmm. Li- oh, uh Edge of Tomorrow. Now. Edge of Tomorrow. Mm-hmm. That's got to be you got it. That's got to be a tearjerker thing in there. <laughs> I don't think so. You don't think so. <laughs> um <laughs> um mm, Come back to me. Come back to me. Let's go for Johnny. Full you got circle. any ideas? Oh, ghost. Um, mm. Maybe. Uh, That's a good one. Free Willy. Maybe. Pervert. Um, uh, my own Otis. That'd be a nice old one. <laughs> the sequel to Free Willy should be Four Willy. Mm. Oh, my own Otis. We're all booing right now with the noise games. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. Homeward my, Bound, actually. Screw my which one? There we go. Oh, wow. The first one. Wait, Homeward Bound. Wait, an incredible journey? The one yeah. without talking or the one with talking? Mm, what? There's uh There's one without talking? I thought it was I thought it was yeah. head talking. The first one. The no. first one had talking? Well, I don't know. Talking. I don't think it's called Homeward Bound, maybe. It's called Incredible Journey. Homeward Bound mm-hmm. and Incredible Journey might be the original. It's like uh it's all animals, it's real animals and they yeah. don't talk. Oh, yeah, that's the one I'm thinking of. I thought they talked, but maybe. No, there's another one where that's very similar called Homeward Bound, An Incredible Journey, where they do talk. Mm. Well, that's the In one fact, I'm thinking of. In fact, the first one might be called Incredible Journey. Look who's oh, Incredible only. Journeying now. Correct. Yeah, who? <laughs> who, who, who? Look who. Who let the dogs out is a legitimate question for that movie. That's right. True. The first one I cried in, for sure. This is a rich vein for crying. It's animals. Milo and Otis, a whole other reason for crying is if you find out how they made that movie. That wasn't, uh, there was not, there was more than one Milo. Oh, no. God. Milo's the cat. No. Yeah. And I'm, that's not a joke. Isn't that an animated movie? No, it's oh. live action. Mm-mm. Oh, okay. I'm thinking of Lilo and Stitch. He like, there's a, <laughs> I was like, what the fuck are you talking about? What do you mean? It's not the first Stitch yet. Yeah, it's not the only Lilo. <laughs> 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 or like the original animator died, as though there's like one oh, person yeah. who draws Lilo. Like there's an actor who draws, like there's an, a hand actor, you know, like a anim actor that draws yeah. <laughs> Lilo, for, you know. Anyway, okay, I'm glad we got that straightened out. Wait, um, do you guys remember Garfield, the animated series? Mm-hmm. Remember Garfield getting, and Friends? Garfield and Friends, yes. Yes. The animated series. <laughs> um, I remember getting an argument with my friend about, like, whether or not uh, Jim Davis, like, drew that cartoon, because how could anyone else draw like him? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So which side were you on? Yeah. I think I was on the incorrect side. I thought he was the animator. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, can you name another cartoon character that the guy who did the voice of that did? Chomp, uh, uh, uh Garfield. Chomp, yeah, the guy who did the voice of Chomp of Garfield. 
Oh yeah, <laughs> chomp his friend. Uh, no, yeah. Tell me what? What? No. It's a uh, one of the guys from Gummy Bears. I kind of don't remember his name. Um, Bouncing here and there and everywhere. Mail block. High adventure. That's behind lasagna the gummy. Ew, lasagna gummy. I just took a lasagna but gummy, and I am freaking out. To be honest, <laughs> <laughs> I am starting to like Mondays. I don't know what is wrong with me. I'm losing but, the thread really quickly in this episode. <laughs> okay, so there's a <laughs> movie. There's a movie. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, the 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 Phantom Thread. Maybe that's the one. We should, yeah, that's what we'll go with. Okay, next question. <laughs> okay. What's a word that you think you know how to spell but are never quite sure? Mm, there's a lot of those. Um, mm, me too. Well, I don't even irre- think I know how to spell them. Irresistible. Mm. Um, Oh, that's going to be a lot of R's. Where are the R's? Where's the double R? Yeah, right no. Right away? Um, oh, God. Oh, wait, I-R-R. No. Yeah, it's I-R-R. Re- Re- oh, it's just I-R-R-E-S-I-S. Whatever. Yeah. And then I want to put an extra I in there for some reason. I don't know why. Like, I'm like, don't. S-S-I-S-S-I. That's Mrs. Sissy. I accidentally just spelled Mrs. Sissy instead of Mississippi. The old Mrs. Happens to all of us. Yeah. yeah, it does. That was me demonstrating that you're okay. M I S S R I S S R I inhibitor. I feel like there's another one that I have to write a lot. Yeah, mine is tomorrow. Like, I know what it is, but like every time I have to do the Tom or Ro. Yeah. Is it the double? Yeah, it's that I want to put the M. I want to make it a double M for some reason, which doesn't make any sense. I got a good one. Okay. College. I always forget how to spell college. That's a little ironic or something. Yeah. Mm. Don't you agree? I love that song. I <laughs> wish I knew I. Collage. That's a little bit ironic. Don't you agree? <laughs> could, could be argued. For. It's like precipitation. <laughs> when you did not expect it. Yes, that's and you not. You didn't have I- an umbrella. What if it's all about just that one situation? <laughs> and you're really wet and it's not convenient Mm-mm. and a wind's coming up yep. ooh you're oh. getting lots of chills Johnny's just looking at me like are we done with this yet <laughs> yeah he's just mad because he, he, he loves that song so much that he's mad that we're lampooning it yeah but we're not it's a respect you know it's imitation out of, is the highest form of flattery did you ever hear that Johnny yeah, you didn't hear that, Johnny? Shit, just now. Piece of shit. Okay. The Weird Al is like maybe one of the most Weird respectful maybe person. Maybe one of the most respectful oh, person. People. 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 Here. Today. I, I love Weird Al. Today. <laughs> Think about I love player. Weird Al. Um, yeah. There's tomorrow. There's Edge of Tomorrow. We're just talking about tomorrow. Mm, availability. Um, that's availability one. is tough maintenance I have a hard time mm, with I want to put yeah. AIs all over the place do you think that's because the robots yeah. have gotten to me <laughs> it Wait, is. Wh- how do you spell maintenance you spell it M-A-I-N-T-A-I A-I-A-I-A-I-N-T-E-I-I-I-I-N-C-E C-E yeah C no I don't know it's main it's M-A-I-N-T-N-A-N-C-E I don't know I really don't know I would I go, this my T-A-N-E-A-N-C. list of words that I feel confident spelling would be a lot shorter. How do you spell like maintain a, even? M A I N T A N. What M A I N T A I N? I think so. That's it's a weird one. Well, that's it's a weirdo one. But maintenance gets rid of one of those. Yeah, and it just it's T A N E N C. I think what T A N E N C tenants. You mean you think it's maintenance? Maybe. Oh, fuck. Uh, I'm just never going to write it again. Luckily, I don't mm. rent anymore. Nuance. I used to have to write letters to the maintenance staff all the time, you know, <laughs> every day. <laughs> Sorry <laughs> about all of the diarrhea in the hall, I'd say. And that's another word you have trouble that you can spell perfectly. So yeah, actually. now I can. Now yeah. I can. It took me a while. It took me about like, so you think maintenance, I would have come around, but I was really focused on the diarrhea yeah. for obvious reasons, you know. <laughs> <laughs> that's the name of your right. book, right? What? I'm really focused on the diarrhea for obvious reasons. <laughs> for obvious reasons, it's the subtitle. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> the Nate Chapel story. We're going to have three different book signings at the same time. I feel like that's going to be awkward. 
Well, are we going to sign each other's books, too? Like, as a joke? I'll, I'll sign yours. Yeah. Okay, I'll sign yours if you sign mine. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you can't sign a book I wrote for me. I can sign a book I read. That's what okay. I think. Okay, <laughs> okay. Fair enough. Okay, okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Let's chill. Everybody chill. <laughs> Easy now. <laughs> that's what I, that's how I de-escalate. My I read de-escalation technique. Hey, everything's I read. Step off the ledge. Here we go. Next question, please. What's the weirdest place you've ever slept? Oh, this is like that newlywed game question, right? In the butt. In the, Just in the butt. Yeah. What? No, no butt. In no, bed. Uh, the weirdest. In bed. It's like a <laughs> fortune cookie. Yeah. Okay. I've slept in a fortune cookie, so that was weird. No. Really, though, there are two work-related ones that I can think of that I think are mm-hmm. especially weird. Number one, Blockbuster Video. Wow, what a difference. We would have to get there at 8 to open the store. It was just like the rule and the alarm systems and everything would go off and everybody would freak out if it wasn't open by 8. Mm-hmm. We didn't open till 10. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm sorry, we had yeah. to open the store. We had to like get there by 10. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Open the store by 10. The first customer would usually come in around noon because we were in a call in downtown in a college town. So like there was no reason to, for us to be there at eight in the morning. So what I would do is I would come in, clock in. There was a couple areas that weren't covered by the cameras and I would go and lay in the war section on the ground. I came out and nice. sleep for about 25 minutes. My roommate would call me because we didn't have cell phones. So he would call the store when it was time for me to wake up. Nice. Wow, that's yeah. my good roommate. Mm-hmm. He was also my manager at mm. Blockbuster Video, so it, I think it probably would have affected him negatively mm. if I would have not woken up. Continued state, yeah. Because I think he was the guy that would have gotten the call, so it was like, I might as well make this call instead of get the call when shithead is passed out by Patton. Um, and then the second one was, I used to work on a show called Sewing with Nancy. It was a PBS inter- internationally syndicated television show Whoa. with Nancy Zeman oh. and uh, it was about sewing as you might have imagined um, exciting but it was like there was a lot of setup you know so we'd do like a scene and then we'd have to do some setup and she'd have to like get the samples ready and like practice it a few times and everything and I would I would switch to cameras so I didn't really have to do much hmm. during that p- rehearsal time so I would go under the console of the switcher like with the director sitting right next to me, I would just go under the table and take a nap. All the cables and whatnot. There's no cables. It was like a oh. desk. The cables were behind the console. Nice. So this was basically like a big, huge, long table, and yes. my area was a cubby, where my like legs would be. Yes, it nice. was very, and it was like the the production room. They keep it pretty dark anyway. Right. So it's a pretty cozy. Mm-hmm. So again, and it, and so it, and, it, and it, it's a small room, so it gets really warm sometimes. So it'd just be like, oh, I'd just be like falling asleep, and I just like slide under the table, <laughs> <laughs> take a little nap. Slowly my, get me. my manager would not mind, or my director didn't mind for some reason because I'm extremely charming. Let's face it. <laughs> you probably did a good job, dude. Yeah. Um, uh, I don't know about that. <laughs> I was fun. She liked me because I was fun. <laughs> And sometimes I needed a nap. What about you guys? Or do you um, want to ask questions about Nancy Z and I, what she was I like and stuff? Blockbuster question. You're on that oh. colorful blockbuster carpet. Dude, was your car- was your blockbuster carpet the same as my blockbuster's carpet? Huh. Uh-huh. I'm trying to remember. I, don't, I think it was kind of just gray industrial. I don't think it had anything, a specific pattern on it. Oh, mm-hmm. word. Okay, okay. Um, um difference. And, okay, and I gather from the story that you can just kind of fall asleep anywhere. Um, I could when I, especially when I, I mean, I I could when I drank all the time, mm-hmm. and I ca- and when I was like younger, you know, you're just like tired all the time, yeah, and uh, and you don't go to bed at a reasonable hour, and you don't eat right, and you drink too much. Yeah. But then, but and then I quit drinking. I could not do that. But now, as a father of two, yes, I can you fall just, asleep. Just prop anywhere. me up. Mm-hmm. I often fall asleep in Wes's bed when they're watching TV, like when mm-hmm. he, she's watching TV on her chair. I'll like yes. sit with her and then fall asleep in her little tiny bed. Aww. 
and then she complete. does the dishes and <laughs> um, does, the, does some baking. It was some banking at night. Oh wow! She's Someone's shitty at it. it. She's five. She doesn't fucking know anything about balancing a budget, but <laughs> neither do I. So. Yeah. <laughs> Um, that's wild. Okay, okay. Uh, I, Johnny, do you have any weird places? You've slept? I fell asleep in a tree once. <laughs> what part? What part? The middle? Like, um, like in the, it was, was there a hole, like a squirrel? And you yeah, was it a squirrel <laughs> situation? Yeah, no, no. I, I climbed up in the tree and nuts. it was kind of like a little, you know, where the, the base kind of branches off into several branches, but they're branches thick. Branches off, huh? What an interesting yeah. choice of words. Yeah, it's weird. I wonder if that's where that comes from. Mm, I doubt it. <laughs> Uh, so you're sitting in the crotch. That's what I call it. Yeah, sitting in the the tree. The crotch. Genesis crotch, um, the original crotch, mm. the yes. arbor crotch. I think is what they call it. <laughs> um, Did you? Uh, were you? What were the circumstances? Were well, like- it was after a late night of drinking, and uh-huh. I was walking home, <laughs> and I had this brilliant idea to stop at this tree, going, "I'm going to watch the sunrise in this tree." Over the lake, because it's going to be awesome. <laughs> That's amazing. So did I you climbed fall up and, before huh? the sunrise. I did. Well, so I mean, it was like, as it was rising, I fell asleep. So I kind of got some of it, um, but not the real. Like I, like I didn't catch it all. I Do guess. you remember waking up? Like, were you surprised? Yeah, yeah. I woke up and I was like, "What the? Where am I?" Because you know, you have the moment of you know, like what, yeah. how, like how did I get here? And of terror. Yeah, yeah. I have um, that every morning when I wake up too. <laughs> yeah, and as I fall asleep and as I walk through the world um, <laughs> yeah that's good uh, that's cool true. that's impressive um, that is impressive that's a good one yeah. I, uh, I slept in all when I toured in bands I would sleep in all sorts of weird situations I slept in a car a lot and then I'd often have to sleep in whatever was provided for me and uh, I w- would Paper tour bag. with yeah there's a couple i I, I toured with some um absurdists so it would sometimes be a sponge and Uh one time i slept inside a plum for two weeks (laughs) yeah i slept with an apple in front of my face is that an absurd i don't forget who does that that's an art thing okay uh i oh okay so uh in the band there was a couple like a a, not a husband and wife but like a long-term relationship and you know when you're the third wheel and you mm-hmm. don't kind of get the shit end of the stick on it, basically everything, you don't really get to decide the couple. Because you're dig- voted, basically. Yeah. It's like a survivor situation. It's a bad alliance. Yeah, exactly. You're at the exactly. bottom of that alliance. Word. Yeah. So I would often, you know, they'd get the one bed that was available and I'd sleep on the whatever or have to sleep in the van. So in case. On no the one- spike pile. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> you get the spike pile. <laughs> We take the. Uh, well, there's two spots here, and I'm not going to sleep with you. <laughs> you guys, you know the spike mattress things? Yeah. You ever use them? Mm-hmm. Oh, what are you talking about? Like, like a na- bed of nails? Bed of nails, but it's not real. You can get it <laughs> off of Amazon. No. No. Uh, no. A bunch of hippies use them. Is it like a. F- like, what is the texture? Like, what is the spike? What are the spikes made of? They're like made out of. Uh, they look like little um, flowers, kind of like they. They're mm-hmm. circular and kind of going outwards, but the the effect is like you're. It's a bunch of spikes coming out of a thing. But and I mean, what is the material? It's not metal. A uh, plastic, if I had to guess. Mm-hmm. Like a so. Hmm. It's like a so yoga. It's painful. Thing. Yeah, it's you're supposed to. It's supposed to be good for you or help your circulation or. Huh. Hey, my hurt. circulation is great. All right. Okay. If you're suggesting I need to work on my circulation, you're just uh, fucked, bro. Okay, <laughs> that's fucked, man. Uh, yeah, I'm really sorry, guys. I'm pissed about that. <laughs> that's good. But okay, what's the uh, the highlight? That's, uh, oh, there was this vagina couch that was shaped like a vagina, and I slept on that. But that was actually huh. comfortable. Which it would be a little too comfortable. Did, yeah. Did that make reaffirm your your like identity a little bit? Like, yeah, oh, okay, this is comfortable. Yeah. You woke up, or did, did you feel like make... you're reborn as yeah, a freak? Exactly. My mm-hmm. identity as a freak. Yeah. And were you going? Was it like you were being 
reabsorbed into the mother. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It'd be great if they, if it also like made like like whooshing noises. Mm-hmm. Oh god! Covered, yeah, covered in you an em- embryonic fluid. There was a heartbeat in there. Well, you, that's that's supposed to be yours, you know. Oh, you mean the mom? <laughs> sure, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you're supposed to bring that byohb. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but no, you're right. There is there should be one there. If there's not, that is a problem. <laughs> you better get out of there. Mm-hmm. Batteries Maybe. are dead. <laughs> is that <laughs> yeah i'm sorry to hear that uh, it's dead. um what'd you say i said the batteries are dead very quietly <laughs> okay cool that's what i thought it seemed creepy i didn't know what you said but it did weird me out so i'm glad so something that's, like that probably is my answer. okay yeah i feel like i had one more i fell asleep somewhere oh yeah up your ass <laughs> That's all the questions for today. Now, get out there, ask questions, be furious, not curious. No, you reverse that. And always remember, you and only you can help prevent unsafe forest fires. For Johnny Fingers and Fish Hammond, I'm Nort Chorpel, and this is Several Questions. Thank you for listening to Several Questions, a production of Wolf Out Radio. Click on the link in the show notes for more Wolf Out shows. Oh, I can't record to a cloud. No, clown. Not to a cl- oh. Clown. Okay, we're good there. Oh, to clown.com. You're going to mm-hmm. prank us? Yeah, iClown. My, I, I keep having to re-log into iClown. Oh, man. Well, it's just not saving your... Yeah. No, it like squirts time, you in the face. It squirts you in the face. And, every, <laughs> and then you try to do something, you know, you try to open a program and it goes... Ear, ear. Yep. I can't do that noise. Can you do that noise? That wasn't right. That sounded more like a bad donkey. <laughs> that sounds like my parents. Uh, oh, I, remember? 